Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So next weekend's Valentine's Day. I know this holiday brings up a lot of different emotions and different people, but for me personally, whether or not I've been in a relationship over the years on Valentine's Day, it's always been a day that I enjoy because it gives me an excuse to either go out with my significant other or go out with my other single ladies. So you can definitely make it about yourself this year or make it about someone else, but either way, you might want a cute makeup look to go along with your activities. Whether or not it's Valentine's Day, I think you can still really rock this look anytime. It's a very pretty pop of pink look with a cut crease that I'm trying to get better at, so I'm really happy with how this turned out. For this look, I'm using the new Too Faced Chocolate Bon Bon palette, which has these gorgeous freaking heart pans and they smell like chocolate. I thought it was very appropriate for a Valentine's Day tutorial. Now I know what you're thinking, you're like, Miranda, this is not a cheap palette, what the heck? I recently discovered that buying Too Faced products from the brand as opposed to from like Sephora or Ulta, you can actually get really good discounts. You can get 20% off any order by just signing up with their email newsletter. And then there's other ways you can get discounts too, like sharing a coupon on Twitter or Facebook. And then if someone uses that coupon, you get another coupon. So before you run out to Sephora or Ulta and buy this, check on Too Faced's actual website. I'll leave the link below because you could get this for far cheaper than other retailers. Unless you had like a Sephora gift card or rewards points, then you know, do what you gotta do. So if you want to know how to get this touch of pink look, keep watching. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my trusty one dollar eyeshadow primer from e.l.f. So first I'm gonna be putting Cashew Chew, which is a light beige, all over the lid as just a blending color. And if you have a shade that matches your skin tone a little better, you can go ahead and use that. This is just to make the shadows blend a little easier on top of that primer. Next I'm gonna be taking Mocha on a big fluffy blending brush, and I'm using that as a transition shade, so I'm going to blend that in and above my crease. I'm gonna go ahead and take Satin Sheets and put that right under my brow bone as a highlight before I go any further. And this is a pinky champagne shimmer shade. For the crease, I'm gonna go into Bordeaux, which is this dark leaning brown, and I'm gonna use a flat smudge brush. And just getting the product on the tip of that brush, I'm gonna go ahead and outline my crease, because I'm gonna do a little bit of a cut crease look. And the trick to a cut crease is to actually draw a little bit above the crease, so the color doesn't get lost when your eyes are open. So I'm just going ahead and tracing kind of right on my eye bone. So once I have that outline there, I'm going to push up the shadow to blend it out into that transition shade. And I didn't add any more product onto the brush, so now I'm just blending. Now I'm going to be taking Divinity on my regular shader brush, and this is a light off-white shade. And I'm going to be patting that all over the lid right underneath that crease we just created. And it's okay if you kind of get it into your crease, that's fine. You can always go back and darken up that brown, which is what I'll probably do a little bit later. Now I'm gonna go into my favorite shade in this palette, only for the name, Totally Fetch, which is this beautiful hot pink. And I'm gonna use a smaller blending brush, and this is actually the e.l.f. crease brush. And I'm going to pat that into my outer corner. And I'll do a little bit of blending in, but I really don't want this too much on the lid. I'm really focusing on the outer corner, but I will blend it a little bit going in but you definitely don't want to take it all the way to the middle. Now taking a narrow dome brush, I'm gonna go into dark truffle and use that on my very outer corner. And I really don't want this to be overpowering, so I am just going to pat the shade in where I want it on the outermost corner of my eye, and just a little bit into that pink, and then we'll go ahead and blend it. And to blend Dark Truffle out, I'm actually taking the pink shade again on that same small blending brush, and I'm gonna go right over it, just so we don't lose that pink while we blend. 
And then you can bring that up a little bit into the crease as well. And then just because we have done a lot of blending, I'm just going to go back in and lightly redefine that crease we made. And then really quick before we do liner, I'm going to take the smudge brush and just bring Totally Fetch down onto my lower lash line a little bit. So this is where we're at in terms of eyeshadow. Quickly going to tight line the upper waterline with the Milani Cole Kajal liner. I'm going to be using the Physicians Formula Cushion liner today, but I'm not going to use the brush that came with it. I'm actually just going to be using the Real Techniques liner brush. And I'm going for a thick wing. So surprise, surprise, I actually am going to use lashes for this look today, so I'm just going to lightly curl my own first. And I'm putting a super thin layer of the Pixi Lengthy Fiber Mascara on my top and bottom lashes, but just super, super thin layer. I think this mascara actually gets my lashes to look like Demi Wispies, which is what I'm going to be using. So it helps incorporate them and make it all look more seamless. Now I'm gonna put on lashes. These ones look like five times longer than these ones. I don't understand. So after adding the Ardell Dummy Wispy Lashes, I just went back in with the Physicians Formula Liner to thicken up my line and conceal the lash band. So this is the finished eye look. So I finished up this look by contouring with the Pixi Natural Contour Powder in my cheekbones and a little bit under my jawbone. My blush is the NYC Levotics by Demi Lip and Cheek Tint, which I am loving this line so much. I'm going to have a review of these probably next week on my blog. Highlighting is yet another highlighter that I'm loving from City Color Cosmetics. This is the highlighting wand, and I just love the sheen that I'm getting from that. And then my lips are the new e.l.f. Beautifully Bare Lipstick in Touch of Nude, which is a really pretty kind of cappuccino color. You could definitely go more bold when it comes to lips in this look because I do think that the eyes are on the more subtle side with that pop of pink um, but for me I just kind of wanted to keep it neutral. Well thank you so much for watching no matter who you're spending it with I hope you have a fantastic Valentine's Day and I will see you in my next video. Bye! My suggestions to Ipsy, like I said, this is not to berate the company or the network. I think the idea of Generation Beauty is fantastic. And I think getting all of us together is really great 